divine feminine, okay? Let's see what's going on with you, situation, action, outcome, okay? I'm just hearing that song, okay? I do music a lot, so I'm hearing that song. I just want to be happy, but if I keep on doing the things that keep on bringing me pain, there's no one else I can blame if I'm not happy. That's a song called Happy. Cry yourself to sleep, shout and wave your hand. It won't change a thing, child, until you understand. Okay? You create your own happiness. I'm hearing that you're creating your own happiness right now, Divine Feminine. Your situation, it came out, is the base chakra of the roots. You're standing on what you have. You might not have a lot, but you're like, I'm grateful for it. I have. I have everything that I need. If you're not in this place, you need to get in this place, in this space. The root chakra is down here. It's your first chakra coming all the way up, okay? So it's really your roots, your base, your, your stability. This is all about your stability. And you're recognizing that even if you don't have the person around you, you still have everything that you need in life. You're blessed enough to be in a love and divine connection, okay? You're blessed enough to have the things that you need around you. You're blessed enough to enjoy life right now, okay? That's what I'm seeing. And I'm, I'm hearing that you're tackling childhood wounds and issues as well, father issues, mother issues. You're like, I'm just grateful to be here. <laughs> I'm just hearing that, okay? What's the action for Divine Feminine? Patience and planning. Why? Because you're absolutely understanding this dynamic with this twin flame connection here. You're like, okay, I know it's taking some time. So with that being said, you're kind of being in this place of contentment. You might be discontent at times, though. I'm not hearing that it's all the way consistent, okay? I'm not hearing that it's like, okay, I'm good now. I'm hearing that you have your moments, ups and downs as well. But you, for the most part, we're staying on the same line. I don't know. I'm seeing a graph-like situation here. I got to tell y'all sometimes what I see in my head. And it's like, you're right here where it's like, I'm good. The, the sign says, I'm good. And you're like, you, you scale on it or whatever. But at least you're not down here where it's like, I'm all bad. You're up here. I'm good. I'm up, I'm up here kind of a little rocky, but I got this, okay? So I feel like you push yourself in order to be prepared. You push yourself into the patient moments that you need to have with yourself and with this connection, okay? I'm seeing it right now. What is the outcome here of the situation with the Von Thurman? Memories of love, okay? You're absolutely probably reflecting right now on the love and on the times on the things that you realize that your person needed to handle right now, even in separation, even if you aren't talking, you're kind of going over some things and thinking, okay, yeah, they did need to get better there, or their communication could have needed some help, or I could have communicated better. Whatever the case may be, you're going over the lessons, is what I'm hearing. Kind of like a study guide book. I'm seeing somebody like, okay, yeah, all throughout the year you've been taking notes, and now you're finally to the point where you're opening that book again and saying, okay, yeah, this was in red. Yeah, when that test came, I didn't really necessarily pass. This is how I could do things different. This is how I could be better. That's what I'm hearing for you, Divine Feminine. That's amazing. Bottom of the deck energy is the 10, um, the Destiny card. This is the Wheel of Fortune card. So you know that this is a Destiny partnership. You are believing in karmic endings. You understand that everything is happening the way it should happen. Okay? I'm hearing that you're just letting the wheel turn. You know that it's going to turn in your favor, okay? This is the wheel of karma. But you know that you've been doing the work. So you know that your karma is going to be good. You've planted good seeds. This is seeds well planted. This is the Seven of Pentacles card, okay? Very much so good seeds planted right now. So you're not really stressed about too much. I mean, I'm again, I'm not seeing that you're not stressing about anything. Like you're blah, blah, blah. But I'm also seeing that you're, you know, really to the point of accepting this, okay? Um... And some of you all, frankly, have just moved on is what I'm hearing, too. I'm hearing a, a percentage of you all have just decided to move on. You know, if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, you're, you're just living life, okay? Living life. And sometimes that means just moving on to another person or just moving on to being solitude by yourself, all right? What's your feeling here? You got worry and you got humor, okay? So whenever you worry, like I said, there's two different sides to this. I keep saying that you're kind of like up, down, up, down, up, down. You're, you're on the scale of I'm good, but you're... So you're finding the humor in some of the things, but you're also worried about some things as well, okay? So you're, when your worry comes in, you're like, you find a joke, you find a memory, you find something good to think about. You find a lesson in that. 
And humor is absolutely finding the lessons in things. 444, four, four, as I say that, okay, on the timer. And that is all is well, okay? That's amazing. All is well. The ancestors got your back when it comes to this. And that's why they're giving you this humor when it comes down to it. Even though at the time I'm hearing some of the situations that you've gone through weren't funny at the time. But you're finding the ways to see some, some clarity in some things, okay? Let's get an angel and ancestor card here for you, okay? Let's get an angel and ancestor card for divine feminine father. Give me one card for divine feminine father. Here we go. We got the spirit box. Trust your talents in changing times. So you got a lot of things that are changing around you. You might be seeing feathers. Bird feathers are important, okay? Don't betray your mind. That worry and that fear comes in sometimes. But you're learning how to govern it, okay? This is the fox. The fox is real sneaky. The fox represents deceit sometimes. And sometimes we deceive ourselves by saying, okay, he'll never change. Okay, she'll never do anything that I expect her to do. Whatever the case may be, don't speak those things, okay? Father is saying he gives you the humorous situations and the memories in order for you to learn that this is your destined partner. You have everything you need in this connection and that it is really changing. So during challenging times, trust in your talents, trust in your gifts, okay? Trust your intuition strongly, okay? This is intuition here, these feathers here. That's intuition, all right? Let's see. Give me an angel card, Father, for Divine Feminine here. Angel Jewels, Archangel Jewels. Align with the highest. Go with the flow. <laughs> if I can't say it enough, go with the flow of life. It's emotional sometimes, but Father's saying go with the flow, okay? And you're learning that. You're knowing that. Again, with the... The karma card here go with the flow because right underneath that is the light the sun you're lighting your person up you're getting you're showing them the way but you got to show them the way through your actions this light card it was at the bottom of the deck during the channel messages but underneath that we got heartache and loss and temptation don't be tempted to be in a place of heartache okay don't be tempted to deceive your mind again and then right underneath that is the star have hope for this new beginning father you're so amazing that is so amazing because you needed to know all these things. Have the hope for this new beginning because your person is really being guided by the light to come towards you, okay? You are their star. I can't emphasize that enough. You're shining your light bright on them. And when your light dims, it, it, it hurts the connection. So keep your light bright, okay? Give me a twin flame card for Divine Feminine. It says, I need you to trust and believe I'm working <laughs> I'm working toward union with you. That's what I just said. Uh, your person is saying, I need you to trust that. Trust that they're working toward union with you. Even when you can't see it. Again, trust. What does it say? Trust your, ta change your talents in changing time. Sorry. Trust your talents. You have a talent of being the light. And that's why he's saying, I need you to trust me, please. Don't dim your light for anybody or anything. Keep it bright. Keep that hope together, that faith. Give me a, uh, what would you like to tell your divine masculine today? The chariot, I feel more in control of my life. Yes, and that's what's creating this fast-paced movement towards you that your person has. Because you're feeling more in control. You know, that chaotic energy, no one's drawn to that. But when you have it all together, you know, and it's not just appearing to have it all together. Because a lot of people look at the platform and they feel like, I have it all together. It's not just appearing like you have it all together. It's actually having it together that brings people okay remember union starts with you and it does that's so funny <laughs> union starts with you like the letter you and you <laughs> god that was, that was good that was clever anyways that's what i have for you guys let's go to the last message for today thank you so much you guys uh next video next video okay